it's reading time with Steffi. Today's book is Little People, Big Dreams, Stephen Hawking. Written by Isabel Sanchez Vergara and illustrated by Matt Hunt. Please subscribe to my channel as I'm adding new books each week. Little Stephen was born in Oxford, England, just as a great world war was raging. At night, he would look up at the stars and wonder what else was out there. His parents loved science, as did Stephen and his three siblings. They all ate dinner with a knife, a fork and the company of a good book. Stephen was never at the top of the class. But at school, everyone called him Einstein, like the famous scientist. One day, he built a computer from clock parts and an old telephone. Curiosity always came before schoolwork with Stephen. But still, he made it into the best universities in England, Oxford and Cambridge. He wanted to solve the mysteries of the universe. Stephen was busy enjoying himself studying cosmology when suddenly he started dropping things and tripping for no reason. Even his speech became hard to understand. Doctors told him that a rare disease was paralysing his body and he had only two more years to live. Stephen felt like the whole universe was falling down around him. Instead of looking down at his feet, Stephen decided to look up at the stars. Maybe he couldn't control his body, but in order to study the universe, all he needed was his mind. His wife, Jane, stood by his side and gave him all the support he needed. They had three children and Stephen loved to give them rides on his wheelchair. Stephen turned his attention to black holes, some of the strangest and most powerful objects in the galaxy. So powerful, not even light could escape from them. Or so scientists thought. But Stephen proved that black holes were not so black after all. There was a tiny light escaping from them. It was named Hawking Radiation. By this time, Stephen had lost his voice and found a new one with a robotic drawl. With this new voice, he dictated a book that helped the world understand the meaning of the universe. Stephen believed that one day humans would cross galaxies to live on faraway planets. He celebrated his 65th birthday by taking a zero gravity ride with a team of astronauts, leaving his wheelchair for the first time in 40 years. By becoming the most brilliant scientist of today, little Stephen made an amazing discovery. However difficult life may seem, there is always something that you can do and succeed at. Stephen Hawking was born on January the 8th, 1942, exactly 300 years after the death of the astronomer Galileo. Stephen had an eccentric upbringing in a household of thinkers. Their family car was an old London taxi and his parents kept bees in the basement, and they made fireworks in the greenhouse. From an early age, Stephen used to lie in the garden, stare up at the stars, and wonder how the universe worked. But at school, he was not an exceptional student. He was always more curious about activities outside the class, like making computers and solving his own equations. Despite this, Stephen was brilliant mind took him off to Oxford University to study physics at age 17. 
It was during his time at Oxford that Stephen started to become clumsy. He didn't think about it too much and kept studying, eventually graduating with a first class degree. It was when Stephen moved to Cambridge University that he received a diagnosis of motor neuron disease, ALS, at the age of 21. He was told he only had a few years to live. Stephen threw himself into study with a new focus. He finished his PhD at Cambridge University and later became an esteemed professor of mathematics there. Then, then while researching and writing, Stephen came up with his black hole theory. He showed that matter can escape from the black holes in the form of radiation. He called it Hawking radiation. This changed the way the world thought about the universe. Stephen lived until the age of 76, proving his doctors wrong. He continued to study the universe, write best-selling books and give public speeches until he died. Stephen is remembered as a brilliant physicist who shook waves through the world of modern science.